toxic environments. Um, s Southern Ontario in Canada is probably next on the list of Beijing, in my opinion. Um, everyone I met that I live with that came from Southern Ontario was dealing with a terminal illness when they came to Salt Spring. And so while it cost me, and I might lament not being able to live with healthy people, I got to see people who had survived um, morbidity odds, you might say, because uh, whatever they had, the allopathic or traditional, now traditional medical treatment, would have killed them. The only reason they lived was by getting away from their doctors. In every case. So I saw the fact that they had continued with their life, but they, they uh, had yet to begin the mental healing. And that would begin by giving voice to what had actually happened to them, and none of them could do that. They weren't talking about it. There's a mentally ill two-legged woman at my six o'clock, about a hundred paces, so I've got to be careful. So you come out on the beach in the morning by yourself and you got some kind of mentally ill woman walking up to me. Life's like that. very nature of our introduction to society is such that we can only distinguish ourselves based on the suppression of our voice. It it's grinds people up. It grinds them up. And a certain distribution of people can be seen to perform well in various areas, but they do not retain the capacity for moral reasoning. It's so, so flagrant an abuse that I dare say the broaching of the mere subject can almost be guaranteed to meet with incredulity and incomprehension. I remember working very hard to have an out-of-body experience and how happy I felt that day, the day after. Because uh, I had released, I guess, a sense, a lot of my connection to the, the baggage of this world, the, the load that my uh, survival instincts had taken on, um, a load which I've been unpacking for, for many years. And I wonder if it's possible to live an actually lighter life in such a dark world without being delusional because you can you can do it with delusion it's just that you take a cost it just comes at a cost you know everyone has to decide what do they owe the suffering people of the world right? if you're going to make an effort to help someone what's the best effort what's going to have the best result and so this, this is the effort that I make. Right? I don't hand out money to homeless people anymore. Right? I make videos. Not as someone who's escaped the tragedies of the world, but someone who has found a way to get their voice back. And one of the ways I'm able to use my voice is to uh, listen to other people and study what they have to say. And I find it, even when, given what I've seen, sometimes it's very hard to listen to people's stories. But the, in fact, it's very hard to find people who even are willing to talk about what's happened to them. And 
uh, when people, not everyone, but some people have a very stark confrontation with the sociopathic nature of the world, many people may go their whole lives and never be confronted with it because their voice was silenced at such an early age. Their flesh and blood is confronted with it, their own children are confronted with it, but they you know, effectively have, do not have to confront it anymore. And this goes to everything that I've been said about the voice. If you suppress the voice, that is tantamount to suppressing your powers of perception. And if you use your voice, you increase the powers of perception. Your voice is instrumental in all that would be communicated in life. And the hunger for life. And it's you eat through your mouth, and you also breathe through your mouth, and you talk through your mouth, and you listen with your mouth. You resonate with it. And yeah, she's still wandering around over there. God, I can I can go anywhere and I will attract the weirdest fucking people. I saw her out on the high tide line when I started walking. I was like, ooh. I'm gonna I'm sitting at my circle here. Trails. There's there are no therapeutic systems for what people are actually dealing with. Band aids at best, cognitive therapy, rearranging words, getting people to work, right? Because work is great therapy. If by therapy we mean dissociation from what's actually happening in your life. Um, the insinuation being that everything I've just said is correct. You know, when therapists try to get people working because there's nothing else to do. The problem is too intractable. They don't want to say to their patients, well, nobody's actually ever figured out just yet how society manages to engulf our capacity to speak and our liberty to make decisions without coercion so we think it's best that you just go along with the flow. And they try to dress that up with all kinds of bullshit. And I've said it a million times, and I know that you can sit down and watch TV, and you could, you could see the working man, and the dignity of the working man, the work that they do. You could see them come home with their paycheck and feed their children, like watching goslings being fed by their mom and dad, and say, that's natural, that's good. What is Rain talking about? Well, then I would say, using my voice to open up the powers of perception, I would go, a human animal needs more than food. They actually need more than food. All you're seeing is the delivery of food substances to these people. What else are they getting? Dad's gone 8 to 12 hours a day, 5, 6 days a week. I lived in a home with the uh, deputy fire chief of this town who had um, temporary or weekend custody of his two girls. And I'm telling you that in the month I lived there, because I gave my notice right away, it was a fucking dysfunctional home, um, had little to no contact with his children, because he was working all the time. And even when he would come home, he would go to his room and play video games. And he would tell me all the time about how hard his job was and how stressful and all the awful tragedies he saw and how he had to go to his room and he just kept working. He was addicted to working. He had his addiction down. He had the justification for it. He had the story. Everything that psychopaths have to justify neglect. And I'm sure he, if, 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 if confronted with it, he would not have had the co any more cognitive capacity to understand the abuse he was dealing on his children, which was criminal, than my friend would understand the, the implications